Hey, Dr. Joe Feuerstein with the MD Minute. Thanks for tuning in. And today, I think a very interesting MD Minute talking about probiotics. So just context, $60 billion a year is the probiotic global market. So that's an enormous amount of probiotics. So the question is, should we be taking a probiotic at all? Is that something that is wise? And so there's a study that was published in March of this year in Gut Microbes, which is a peer-reviewed journal looking into the probiotic world. And it was published by researchers all over the United States, people in the CDC in Atlanta, people in Washington, D.C., uh, Poland, Switzerland, um, the Netherlands, all over the place. And they were essentially looking at the data for probiotics and specifically the safety. And they came out with some specific recommendations that I want to share with you. So the first one is let us remember that you are taking an alive microorganism. OK, this is not in, you know, like a food, a fermented food that's also alive. But this is a concentrated amount of a microorganism um, that is not necessarily native to your gut. And you're taking this in your body. So you always have to be concerned that how do you know that there aren't, where it was made, aren't contaminants, other live microorganisms you're now ingesting. I don't know where you made your probiotic. I don't know who makes it. So they recommend number one is you want to go according to good manufacturing standards and they really need to be tested by a third party. And that's to avoid um, contaminant by micro other microbiomes that you don't want. Um, and microorganisms that you don't want. Number two, which I think is kind of more interesting and something I haven't really thought about, is you really need the company to have actually, because they all have their special strain, you need them to have done full genome testing. They need to see the entire genome of the strain that they're putting in your body. Now, why is that? What do you care? Well, the answer is that, that you're taking something and in the genes, there may be genes that are part of this bacteria you're about to put in your mouth that are actually going to confer antibiotic resistance. And if you don't believe me, there was literally a case of this. There was a bacterial strain called Lactobacillus animalis uh, lactis B, um, B12. And the FDA found that that particular probiotic strain caused people to have a resistance to an antibiotic tetracycline. So the point is that you really want to be careful because you're ingesting this stuff and it can have effects on the body and on your microbiome. You also can muck around with things so it can change the metabolism of drugs. Again, you're ingesting something that isn't just a probiotic. It's also a foreign species with genes that are going to affect your genes and your gut. Um, and then the other thing that they thought was important was um, there are very rare cases of sepsis where the bacteria actually gets out of the gut and spreads in the, bo in the body. Only about maybe 25 of them. I'm sorry, in 25 years, only about 50 cases of sepsis. And they all did well as long as you give them intravenous antibiotics. But obviously something to consider, just not a high likelihood. What I'm more concerned about is antibiotic resistance and about what else is in that capsule apart from what they say is in the capsule. And then the third one is that what do we do if we're taking them long term? So if you're taking this long term, what's it doing to your microbiome? Is it competing with the natural bacteria there? Is it doing something? We have no idea. So my take on this is that probiotics are a big deal. Um, you're essentially introducing bacterial species into your gut. You need to understand who's making it, what's in there, what else shouldn't be in there, how it's made, and whether you should be taking it long term. And the only way to answer that, my friend, is to see a integrative medicine trained practitioner, someone who understands and can give you the right dose of the right probiotic from the right company that will minimize these risks. Dr. Joe Feuerstein with the MD Minute. Thanks for tuning in.